alongside the new look Marty Burrell, who took it down to the wood <laughs> over the weekend. Marty, you look fantastic. We should explain that for the 10th year in a row, you've had your head shaved for Bald for Bucks, an event that raises money for the Roswell Park Cancer Center. Well done. It looked like you guys had a lot of fun doing it. And we had a lot of fun. Listen, you know, it was needed because my hair had been growing and growing and growing. I wanted to make a statement this year, so I poofed it up like Dr. Brown on Back to the Future. And we had fun. Sophia, who's a 17-year-old, going through her own cancer treatment right now. She shaved my head with our friend Penelope. And we raised a lot of money again about, you know, both of us raised about 250000 a year. And it started 20-plus years ago raising 3500 bucks. So that is pretty impressive. And we keep supporting it. And it's awesome. That's awesome, man. Way to go, my friend. Uh, speaking of taking a bit of a haircut, the Panthers have struggled lately. Just two wins in their last eight. Money Puck tells us the Panthers are the Leafs' most likely opponent in the opening round of this year's playoffs. If they meet again in the postseason on a scale of 1 to 10, how worried should Leaf fans be about the potential rematch that saw the Panthers take the series in five last year? Obviously, the Florida Panthers are a really good team. So I'm going to say a 5 out of 10 because the Panthers are not the same team that they were last year. So there is a different approach for the Leafs to go out and win this series this season compared to losing it last year. First of all, the Florida Panthers this year are 14th in goals for per game. Last year, they were 6th. So they're not scoring as much. Now they're much better defensively. They're number one in goals against per game this season where they were 21st last season. So here's the thing. Florida doesn't score as much. You can play a tighter game against the Florida Panthers, but they're really strong defensively. But again, the Leafs can score with Matthews and Nylander. And if a healthy Marner is on board, the Leafs can definitely use their offense to break through the defense for the Florida Panthers. So, yeah, I, I mean, 5 out of 10 is, is still a worry, but it's a completely different situation and look to the Florida Panthers and also to the Leafs than they were last season. One big difference, Marty, between this year and years gone by is the lack of expectation. The Leafs are going to be the underdogs whether they face Florida or Boston. Do you think going in as a dog starting on the road might actually help them? Well, the expectations are one thing, but I believe inside that locker room, the pressure and their, their internal expectation is to win it all. So I'm saying the pressure and the expectation internally are still very high. And starting on the road could help. The Leafs have a great road record this year. They're 22-9-6. and six. So you're looking at 37 games, and they've won 22 of them, so that's great. Florida is pretty good at home. But the difference here is the Leafs have never won. Well, I'm looking at the last seven years. They've not won a playoff series when starting on the road. The series that they won last year, they started at home. Well, actually, they lost the second one starting at home as well. But they've not won a series when starting on the road. So this is an added challenge, even though the Leafs have had a better record on the road than they do at home. Uh, Florida is going to be a tough matchup if you allow them to have last change in Florida. This could be a big night for the Leafs. The, the, the scenarios are way too complicated to get into, but the Leafs can lock up a playoff spot for the eighth straight season tonight. They need a win and help from the Red Wings, Islanders, and Flyers to make it official.